hey everybody and welcome to my channel okay so today's topic we're discussing um the importance of holding off on intimacy so this isn't like a religious post so if you thought that was the topic of this it's not um i could care less about sins and all that this that's not what i'm going at here um so now that i got that out the way I'm also not saying abstinence um, or refraining from sex at all. That's not what I'm saying either. I'm talking about preserving that secret act for somebody who you're committed to, somebody who you are in love with and see a long-term future with. So, um, when you are intimate with somebody, you connect. Now, when people always say you attach to um, people who you're intimate with. Um, it's not necessarily on a physical level because there are a lot of people who can be intimate with people and have no sort of feeling towards them. By attaching, it means on a soul level. So when you're intimate with somebody, it's like a union, okay? And that's why originally intimacy was meant for marriage, right? Because this is the person you decided that you want to be with. Um, this is the person that you decide that you want to form a union with. And so once you have that union of marriage, you then um, are intimate to consummate that marriage now in this day and age things are different as we all know but the spirit the soul still works the same okay so even if you're not married to somebody in the spiritual world it's like you are okay it's it still considers that a union so what happens in the spiritual world when you're intimate with somebody is your personalities your demons, your egos, they merge. You that's why like have you ever noticed like a couple uh, uh, they've been together for a little bit, they kind of start to act alike, stuff like that. Your souls merge. You take on their demons, you take on um their personality, their psyche, their egos, whatever. That's what happens when you're intimate with somebody on a spiritual level now imagine you're intimate with a lot of people or casually just one person or the other people that you barely know so you start to take on people's psyches that you don't even really know what their psyche is they could be weird they could be crazy they could be whatever, you don't know. But every person you're intimate with, you start to take on their psyche. So that's why I say you should be very picky who you're intimate with. I would say I really don't think you should be intimate with anybody unless you know them and you guys are committed to one another. And it should be in a loving bond. Um, because intimacy means something very deep outside of this physical world. It should mean something in this world too, but, you know, we've just kind of like, we've made it meaningless. So that's how it is. But this world doesn't dictate the spiritual world. So it still means what it originally meant in the spiritual world. You guys know they saying you lay with dogs you're gonna catch fleas they're not literally talking about fleas you lay with people whose psyche is off you're gonna be off too because you adopt those traits so you know preserve that for somebody that you know somebody that you have decided yeah this is the kind of person that i would want to merge souls with before you do that.
guys for watching and I'm going to talk to you guys next time.